Is your scanner too small for your artwork? Here's how to scan it anyway. Hi everyone! I'll re-scan this old A3 sized painting on watercolor paper to show you how to scan a large drawing or painting in an A4 size scanner in two pieces and paste it back together using the free image editor GIMP. This obviously won't work for a canvas board or stretched canvas or cardboard or any hard surface painting. In that case, you'd need to take a photo instead. I'm just wiping the scanner clean with a microfiber cloth first to get rid of any dust and then scanning one half of the painting. I'm placing a pile of printer paper on top, closing the lid and weighing the lid down with a heavy book on top of the scanner. I'm doing this partly to keep the painting in place since it's half hanging out of the scanner and partly to push the painting closer to the glass. If the paper is buckled or wavy, some parts won't touch the glass unless you press it down. The parts not touching the glass will look blurry in the scan otherwise. There will be a shadow in the edge where the painting cuts off, but that should be okay once you edit the painting afterwards, cause the two scans will overlap each other a bit. If you are scanning your artwork for prints, you need to scan it in at least 300 dpi resolution and I often do 600 dpi. I've previously scanned this painting at a lower resolution with an older scanner, so I'm redoing it now. I'm saving it in PNG format and checking the preview to see if it's ok before actually scanning. Keep in mind that the bigger the resolution, the longer the scanning will take and the bigger the file size will also be. So you don't need to go overboard with the resolution, but also if you scan in a low resolution, you can't go higher in the editing stage. Whereas if you scan in a higher resolution, you can always decrease the resolution and the file size in editing. After scanning the first half, I'll just turn the painting around and do the same with the second half. When I'm done with scanning both halves and I've checked that they look ok and I've turned them the right way, I'm opening them in GIMP. I've scanned them using the same settings, so the size matches and the brightness and contrast match, so I don't need to edit them individually, I can just combine them first into one image and then edit the contrast and sharpness and so on on that image. Make a new image at File, New, that's big enough for both of them and also leave some extra room for the edges because you might need to rotate the images and so on. Add a transparent background in the advanced options. Now drag both halves onto this new image. There should be a bit of overlapping region so it's easier to match them. You can lower the opacity of the top layer and place it on top of the other half. You'll see the image in double at first, so try to match them exactly so that you're not seeing two images anymore, but just one. You can also cut out some of the blurry edge to make the images easier to match. You can use the rectangle tool to select the shadow area and then remove it with Ctrl X. Just make sure the alpha layer is added first at layer, transparency and add alpha layer. If the painting didn't stay completely straight in the scanner and the halves are tilted different ways, you can use the rotate tool to tilt one of them. When you think you've found the right spot, use the eye icon in the layers tab to make the top layer invisible and then visible again to see if there's a difference between the top and the bottom layer. Thank you. 
Once you are happy with the result, you can cut out more of the top layer or use the eraser tool with a soft brush to blend the two images together. When you've matched the images as well as you can, export the combined image as PNG and then you can continue editing that file. I link to other videos on how I edit art scans with GIMP to fix contrast, sharpness and more. It's also a good idea to save an .xcf file with the separate layers so that you can open that in GIMP if you need to. For more editing tips, click on the video or the playlist on the screen.